This is how the no dig flower bed that I have on the west side of the house looks like in the middle of October. We have our first frost right around the corner, probably one more week, two week stops here in central Indiana. October is definitely the month where things are going to be dying no matter what. The mornings are starting to be a little bit on the cool side, so the plants, the, the warm loving plants are definitely showing signs of uh, dying, of decaying, and that's all right. I am definitely ready for some fall weather. This no dig flower bed, as I call it, is intense and it's probably one of the easiest areas in my garden as far as maintenance go. And I just love the way that everything turned out this year. Because the plants are really, really close together, they are shading most of the ground and I don't really have to do any weeding. I tried to recall if I weed this area at all after planting all of the seedlings here, but I don't believe that I did anything to this bed as far as weeds go. Back in June, when I had my seedlings placed in these two corten steel planters that I got from Amazon, I, I was a little bit worried that they were not going to be plenty or big enough to cover most of this area right here, but oh goodness, the combination of plants that I have here in these containers is definitely, definitely intense and taking over that whole area, which I absolutely love. While I have most of this flower bed with irrigation, I definitely do not have irrigation for the planters and those were the only ones that I have to give water here and there. I feel that because of the plants are really close together, they shade the ground, they protect it and they keep it somewhat cooler. I didn't really have to do much watering. You may not be able to tell by just looking at this clip but i do have a beautiful hedge of boxwoods edging this bed and while they're still small they're getting up there in size and this year is definitely one that i'm going to be shaping them probably here pretty soon i'm going to prune them a little bit and keep them nice and tight but definitely for future years i gotta make sure that i keep some sort of fence or some sort of support for the plants that are growing here because they definitely come out of the way and just squash most of these boxwoods here. Most of the plants that I have grown in this nodig flower bed are plants that I either started from seeds or that I started indoors from the tubers or from the rhizomes. And that was a big, big thing for me. I am not able to find a lot of these varieties locally. So starting from seed is a huge, huge game changer for me and for options and new varieties that I am not able to find as easy. I have two types of kianas in these containers. One is an orange variety that is new for me this year. I actually found the rhizomes at Menards and I really, really enjoy them because the hummingbirds are also, also big fans of this salvia. The shape of the blooms of this specific orange salvia is more like a trumpet shape and I believe that's why the hummingbirds prefer it. I also have a different variety, one of my regular yellow cannas, and those I started from seed. While I am going to be studying cannas next year from seed, from the seeds that I collect from these plants here, I'm also going to try to save the rhizomes again. I think that the plants just do a lot better and grow healthier and stronger 
if they get started from rhizomes. And this year was definitely, definitely a great year for these cannas. They are huge. Probably the biggest cannas that I personally have grown in my garden. Last year, I planted a bunch of nasturtiums in this bed, but this year I did not. However, I had a couple of volunteer nasturtiums. They came back this year in this bed and I let them be. As you can tell, the leaves from these nasturtiums are just so, so beautiful. And some of them are really, really huge, way bigger than anything that I have grown before. Just look how big these are. You can make some tacos with these leaves. A lot of people say that volunteer plants are stronger in bigger plants, and that is definitely true, at least in my experience. One of my favorite, favorite coleus of all times, and I have said this before in other videos, is Mighty Mosaic. And I believe these are a hybrid, so I am not able to say seeds from them. If you're wondering, I purchased the seeds from Pine Tree Seeds. I'm gonna put a link to the description to their website. I don't know if they'll have them in stock when you're looking for them, but that's where I got them originally. And I just love, love the color combination of these spotted stripe type of coleus. I just love how well it just blends with everything else that I have grown in my garden. I love the burgundy splashes of color that it has around the leaves. Not every leaf is the same, which I love. And it's definitely one that I'm going to keep on growing for future years, unless I find another one that becomes my new favorite. But adding these coleus, this mighty mosaic coleus with the petunias and the celosias and everything else growing here, it was just a great, great choice. Another one that I am definitely going to repeat for next year is this gorgeous, gorgeous purple millet grass. I started all of them from seed this year. And as far as I know, this one is a hybrid. So I am saving seeds knowing that it might be a different, slightly different plant. I am not sure how those will turn out, but I did test the seeds. I put them in a little bit of a wet paper towel in a Ziploc bag and they are germinating beautifully. So as far as I know, the seeds are good. I just don't know what kind of grass I will get for next year, but I will keep you updated on that. I already saved a bunch of seeds and these guys are still looking just so, so amazing here. Saving seeds from anything and everything that I can is definitely the key this year. I am really, really liking how everything is turning out to be, especially the things that I start from seed. And last year, I saved a bunch of seeds from the plants that I was already growing in my garden, and it's just a cycle. Every year, I save seeds, and every year, I'm always amazed at how well the plants do. Pretty soon, with our first frost right around the corner, this bed is going to look completely, completely different. Most of the plants growing here are definitely not going to like all the cold temperatures that are coming, and that's fine. It's going to be an opportunity for me to clean, to save, to remove plants, and next year I get to play with what plants I'm going to be using, with what designs or combinations I'm going to be adding. But as far as this year goes, I am really, really happy with this bed. I am very happy that I decided to make this bed a couple of years ago, making it a no dig flower bed. Thank you for being here, you guys, and until the next time.